I wanna just start this vlog in saying I apologise to everyone involved. The person who had to call my name on the tannoy, the girls who bought my flight, to the house of Saint Laurent, to my bank account, the error bus that had to take me there and back. But I missed my flight. I, it's the third flight I've missed in my life and I'm upset about it because one, I don't have COVID but I feel very ill. I took three COVID tests, it all came out neg. I'm just upset because this is not me. I went to bed early yesterday. You know, right now it's about two o'clock, I wanna say. Oh, one thirty. I'm leaving now. My flight's not till 6.30. I'm just upset that I just haven't, I missed my flight. I'm really pissed off about it. I know I don't feel like myself right now. Hopefully going to Berlin will see all my girls and stuff will get me in a, way that I will feel like I'm happy to be there and not annoyed about missing my flight. My good Judy, uh, Sophie Kiko is like, don't worry about it, shit happens, we'll get you here. I have spent like so much money. So they booked me a flight, I missed my flight. I booked a flight straight away for like 12, 30 or 12.05 sorry that cost me 250 pounds pounds not euros pounds and then i get to the airport and i don't have my my passport and the only time i clock is when i get off the bus from the plane i mean get off the bus at the airport i am beyond annoyed at myself this is not me i definitely know i'm having that out of body experience Jerusalem in the third and Mercury in the ninth and the tenth planet of the sixth and the eighth carry the one over two. I know something going on in the universe that don't make sense. Something doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave. Oh shit, I can tell you the time. 1.40, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go get an air tag because my luggage is gonna go in the hold and I'm scared about stuff like this. I'm just feeling very unsettled, like very unsettled. Let's see what happens because I'm gonna go get air tag, then eat, and then I'm gonna go for the airport. <laughs> Dot in my eye, I'm gonna care. It's your boy JJREV to the LON, and this is the Berlin recap. So, as you saw before, I missed my flights. It was very crazy. Gemini in Moon, Moon in Aries, Aries in the sixth planet. Something must have been going on for me to miss my flight. It does not make sense. I finally made it to Berlin. When I got there, the airport was absolutely empty, like a ghost town. Like, it was so weird how empty the airport was. And there was no security, no actual. There was like two police officers at the gate, but like no actual like real security there, which was really weird to me, to be honest. But we move, get to my hotel, just put my bags down, went straight to her house. Next day, wake up, I actually look at the room. So this is the room. It's really beautiful. It's like an apartment hotel. It was in Alexander Platz, which is the center. It was just beautiful, like little like room, living room, all in one. It was really lovely, and I loved it. Then my kid came to the party, uh, the fellow REV to the LON. They chilled, and then I went back to Soho House. Basically, I lived in Soho House majority of the time that I was there. The reason I am broke is because of Soho House. That is why I am broke. Then I had to go to the talk. Everything in this ball weekend was crazy. And let's just say this from now. I was the only person that was involved in everything. I was on both final discussion. Well, except for the Kiki function. And there's a specific reason because it's like a trans trans identity. And I'm a book screen. So I was in the two talk panel, the two panel talks. And then I was I hosted the ball, also to a commentating workshop with um, one of my good Judies. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the talk was at a place called Schrutsch Club, which is a very well-known club. Uh, I have a lot of history in that club, weirdly. And the talk was about decolonizing the dance floor and boring community and culture and voguing, which was great. I got to share that panel with Stan, Icon Stan L, and also um, legendary uh, Leo Saint Laurent, mother of Saint Laurent. It was great. We got to talk, we had a great time, we had those conversations. Uh, there's a lot of quotes, a lot of things I want to put on t-shirts and there was Riza. Riza is my favourite chicken place, not of all time, but when it comes to Berlin, bitch, I'm really only eating Riza, like I'm not really eating nothing else. 
So after the talk, we all get together, all the girls. Remember, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. Get all the girls together, we go to uh, Sun Blue Festival, which is by one of my uh, my adjacent kids, my daughter, Manga, um, who's a mother in the Kiki scene of the house of uh, Laval in Germany. Uh, she and the collective put on this really cute festival that showed a lot of artists from like Brazil and even the UK, which is very special. And between that, I went to another party by another by a friend of mine, Will, shout out to you, who did a hip hop party, which I really never really heard in Berlin, in this fab venue, and they gave me this crazy bottle of Hennessy actually two bottles of Hennessy. Like that trip was very full of Hennessy when I think about it. And it was actually a great time. Dance, had a great time. Went back to the Sun Bloom, right? Because these are like five minute drives anyway. Uh, got some chicken on the way with my Judy. Um, Sid, all the way from the US, extravaganza. Next day, it was time to change hotels. So I had to go to my new hotel that was in um, closer to the venue of the ball, but also this day I'm also doing a panel discussion. I'm also doing a commentator workshop and a panel discussion uh, in memory of Warner Law. And this was really good because I got to do it with a very close studio of mine, Typhoon uh, 007 X Prodigy. Um, for me, a legend in the scene. Uh, somebody who has done a lot of work from the day we met nine years ago, and. Yeah, it was just crazy to look at yourself from where you were to where you are now. And in, yeah, in those eight years, nine years that we've grown together, like, it was so good to, oh, I said yes to the commentary workshop to do with Typhoon because I felt like it was going to be a good vibe. We're going to have a good time. And all I want to do is have a good time. Um, and, you know, I don't commentate a lot of balls and my voice is quite hoarse because I finished it in Berlin. But, um... To do a commentary workshop with someone who I hold like so close to my heart was like a big eye opener for us. And we like really sat there and we spoke about it and it was like really cute and great. Everyone had a good time. The talk was so good. It was about Von Lo. Von was a DJ who passed, I believe, about two years ago. He basically paved the way for the sound of the Bourne scene. The music, the what we play, how we play it, the tones, the flavors, the production of beats that people make. Like these are all down to one a lot. You know his heavy work by um, listening to Feel Like a Woman by RuPaul and his work with RuPaul's Drag Race and being and the soundtrack to and the soundtrack to Empire. Um, yeah, this is an all round like it was an amazing guy, an amazing person and gave me time of day and I will forever be grateful. I was so happy I could talk about the stories I had about war and the stories that I and the memories I made with him also between two different countries. And I'm just like really grateful for this shit. And it was just like it was just grateful to be on this kind of panel and to talk about the stuff and be able to do stuff. That, you know, I don't know, it was just like a great thing, you know, to talk about someone's name in memory in such a positive light and also talk about DJing and why it's important to us and stuff like this. It was just great. After this, we all hung out, we got food, Riza, and it was just a good time. With one weekend, you never are by yourself. It's always like up to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., go back to the hotel, wake up next day. It's 3 a.m. now, we're still in Riza. We need to be at the function the next day. I think I have to get there for like, I want to say four. So, next is the ball. The ball was so good. There's not really much footage from it. I was on the mic. Um, I was on the mic at my cue was the DJ. How fun is that? And this was so special for me because Mike's a person who I respect so much. Also, I come for me in the scene. Um, has, is a soundtrack of legendary. Uh, produced tracks for Beyonce recently and all around that like, Queen Beats has always been something I, I feel like I've always wanted to be a part of but I haven't really started my production journey to even really be about that life um, he's a great human super lovely great soul great passion um, and it's just good to see him like and, what, and like work with him I, it was just so nice um, with a great panel of icons who are, who are fierce 
with the girls but very truthful and that's what i love about panels like this when they're like truthful and fair um because panels can usually not be fair at all sometimes so you know there's like a, uh, but i'm yeah super happy i got to do this i'm very thankful for the house of saint laurent for having me for having me come to the ball i had a great time i lost my voice but she i'm i'm still here 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 here, um. But all I do have for you is actually my roll call. Day was my off day. I was free. I was free. You know, I love ballroom, but sometimes it keeps me in a chokehold and I don't know how to handle it sometimes. But I was off. It was time for the Kiki function. It was about um, the theme of the ball was trans identity celebration Kiki ball. That's what it was called by uh, Mother Ria Mermaid. It was a fact of Germany. Was a fabulous ball, had a great time, highs, lows, and in betweens. I had a great time. Um, there's a lot of people who I'm gonna try and feature in this video, like Marquise Revlon, um, Marquise Revlon, Shady, Prada, um, Arturo, Miyak Mugler, um, Baby. Garçon, and I'm going to try to feature all these girls in this part um, in the, in, to show you like who they are in their respective categories but usually like when I go to a ball I just sit there and eat chicken that's it like I just eat, I just sit and eat you know I'm chilling like balls are for me like when I'm there like I want to be prepared like I want food I want to eat I want like snacks and sweets I do want those I want like food, I want to eat, I want a glass of whiskey. I'm just like chilling, like I'm really chilling. So in that, saying that, because I'm known to eat chicken, a lot of videos have come up of me eating chicken at the function. But I don't, bitch, I'm hungry. Like, it's food time, you know? I probably, it's the only time I've really ate. It really is. But all in all, I had a very, very great time at the Kiki Ball and congratulations to House of Mermaids, congratulations to your new members, congratulations to all the winners, you did that. In my wrap up, Berlin was amazing this time, it was only for this and it was literally just this I did and I'm grateful I was able to do it, I was grateful I was able to be there, I'm grateful I finally made my flight, I'm grateful for the support I got there, all the thank yous i got all the respect all the love i got while i was there and yeah it was just a really good time next on my list i am going to london um something very sick that i'm going to be doing when i'm there um and i'm paris and probably by the time i drop this yeah then i go to berlin again so maybe i We'll get like two videos or so in some sort of in some sort of like good timing. Anyway, I'm your boy JJ Ivy to the L O N and nine in your eye, Minokier.